Here we are, blurry eyed, knackered, and not feeling too good. If you follow me on social media, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about right now. I had my 40th birthday party last night, and yeah, a little bit worse, <laughs> a lot worse for wear, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, hopefully, today's game will, will shake it all off, will give me something to forget about how rough I feel right now, but we just parked up, uh, got here on time today, thankfully. And just waiting for the teams to drop now, really. That's probably the most exciting bit right now in the build-up. Driving in today, though, the fans. Wow, so many fans here today. It really does feel like football is back today. And it couldn't have been a better start. I, can't, I cannot I cannot emphasise how big this game is for the fans, for Leeds and United fans. If you go back and you research the history of this football match, you couldn't have picked a better game for fans to come back to than this today. Early kickoff, I'm not surprised. There was no chance they were gonna make this any late kickoff. The carnage that would commence if this was a late kickoff. You I can only you can just use your imagination. Just use your imagination. But heading into oh god, heading into the stadium now. Uh honestly I don't know which way Ellie's gonna go with his team. You all know exactly how I see it and how I want to see it but it's up to Wally. Is he thinking of putting Sancho in? We know Varane isn't going to play, so the back line's pretty much taking care of itself. Let's see which way he goes. I need to get a drink. I need to go and hydrate. I need to get into the stadium. Guys, I'll catch you when we get sat down inside. Looking forward to this one. Right, just walking in now. The teams have dropped in. Oh, dear God, Ole. Out like he's in as in, is there? McFred comes straight back in. Dan James starts. My god, Pogba shoehorned in. <sighs> I hope this goes well for him today and I hope we just get the win. But this team cannot move forward playing like this, it cannot do. And unless McTominay and Fred both absolutely tear it up and surprise me, then I just don't see how this is going to work this season. He set off as he finished, and we didn't finish great. So I'm going to hold the negativity. Fred and McTominay may do it. They may have stormers, and I'm hoping they do for all his sake. I really hope they do. And you know what? James, hopefully the lad plays well, but man, we have the forwards we've got. We're struggling for numbers today. But Marshall on the bench, he's obviously not ready still. So there's a concern straight away. Because for him, I think he needs to hit the ground running. If he doesn't at the start of the season, I don't see him getting in. So, a lot of questions to be answered today. Still looking forward to it. It's definitely giving me a bit of a job in terms of, uh, well, feeling real fair. It's taking my mind off feeling ill now. Because I'm settling into the realisation of what the team is. So, let's see how it drops and hopefully the boys do it for us today. Let's get in on Trafford and see what everyone else is thinking about that. All right, inside, new seats, mate. Good All set for the new season. Uh, sobered up straight away when I heard team news. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I just, I don't know. Walking in, talking to people as well. I think everyone's of the same sort of thinking. It's like, why? Um, why no change when we had a chance to? I know we've not brought anyone else in, but we've got fitter. I'm more ready after three season midfielders than Fred and McTominay. So, I mean, that's, that's, everyone wants it to work, but everyone's questioning why we're going with Fred and McTominay again against Leeds. It's like we're automatically thinking about Leeds too much. I'm not thinking about our own game plan again, but we'll see. I'm happy to be proved wrong. Right now, today, I would just accept to win get off the mark, not fall too far behind, too quick play, not have an arsenal, for cut sake. So, let's see, let's see if it works. I mean, forward line really has to hit it off, really has to hit it off today for this to work for me. And you know what, if we do get chances, we are going to have to be clinical. It's simple as that, I'll stick with a 2-0 that like I said before, we should have enough. I just hope we're not so reliant on that front line providing some individual brilliance and we can actually build and create as a team going forward. But 2-0 out. Scores mate. Uh, 2-1.
2 1 2 0. See who's right at the end, I'll see you at half time. Well, that didn't go too bad, did it? 1 0 at half time, and all I can say is we just weren't clinical enough. That's the only critique. Other than that, I think United lost the half. We created several very good chances, not half chances, but very good chances. So it's all down to just putting that ball in the back of the net. Thankfully, Bruno did take one of the chances because we deserved that in that first half. We absolutely lost it. The Hayar can't remember having anything of significance to do at all. So for me, all goes well. In midfield, without being in control, we've controlled it, if that makes sense. Because we've never looked like we have uh, complete passing control of midfield. But in terms of the battle, I think we've just had a little bit more than Leeds. And Leeds, to be honest, I expected more, but then again, I'm looking at it, and I said this the other day, I said Leeds are a decent mid-table team. And that's how they played today, and they haven't really caused United much, much trouble. There is a second half, and things can obviously change. We've seen it with United before, putting two halves of football together has been difficult. And you know what, there will be some tired legs peeping in there, so that's why it's more important and why I've brought up the critique about finishing, because if we'd have had one more, then I'd have been a lot more confident going into this second half, because we could have caught them on the break at will then in the second half. But it's 1-0, we take that, very impressed with how we've played and what we've created going forward. Uh, and I can't really ask for much more for an opening day, it's all about just getting the win. It's helping me recover, because it is a decent game. Help, play with the half so far, mate, for you. Bruno. Yeah, Bruno has been off the scale good today again, man. Absolutely superb. Touch, control, passing, weight of passing, brilliant. Defensive has been good as well. Yeah, defence has been rock solid. Let's hope we get more of the same second half. And there you go. <laughs> Two half Man United. When's the last time you could say that United turned up in both halves of football? Both halves. There was a moment there, wasn't there, right at the start of the second half. Five minute spell where we had like a brain melt and it just looked lots of days ago. They scored a whale there. I think that was the only way they were going to score today. But still that five minutes was a bit of a worry. But after that, I was asking for him to be clinical. Ah, dear me, when Fred scores, you know it's on, don't you? <laughs> I said it, I said it before the game, I want it to work for Ole with Fred and McTominay, that was a big decision putting them in, and everyone around us was bemoaning it, me, it was the same, I couldn't understand it, but if you're going to play Fred and McTominay, you play them that way, and that's what worked, because what was different today, yeah the personnel was the same, the intent and how we set the game plan out was totally different, Fred and McTominay played like two eights, and that's the difference, if you're going to play them two, utilize them what they are good at which is the energy then let them go let them off the leash they work in certain games like playing leads at home we treated leads like a, like a like a top 10 team didn't we today that's what it was and then after that sorry i'm just navigating traffic at the same time there we go and that's what they was and that's what they played like today but it was down to United to beat them. And that's what we did. We took it to him. We played our game. We played the United way. I've just done the match vlog on the United stand and said exactly that. And that's what it was. At the end of the day, that's what you've got to do when you come up against teams like this at Old Trafford. And they have to use that. And they have to use the squad in exactly that way because it's not always going to be that easy. It's not always going to be that simple. Leeds suicide to, there today the way we else set them out today they were there for beating and we beat them are we bothered no time to move on no cavani no Martial, no rashford no sancho and we're still five one up that's depth that is depth and that for me is how we need to move forward it's not going to be like that next week so you need to change it little bits change the odd player here and there and then you're going to get it it's going to work it'll come together but you have to know how to use the players and when to use the players and that's what ollie's next lesson is has he learned from last season he's off to a great start well it's not like two carried away top of the league first day nice that's a nice way to celebrate my birthday by the way thank you for all them birthday wishes and now we move on to southampton full week's rest lots of players coming back fit Varane 
on shore before the game. Our defence was solid again today though. You know what, it's just nice to know that we've got options and we deserve that big victory today. There were times in the season, last season when we had the big wins, it was like, oh, it could have still gone either way. It might not have happened. Well, he's created nothing today and we created everything and we deserve everything that we got today. We probably deserve more, but are we bothered? Right now, 5-1, sitting top of the league, Leeds beaten, doesn't get much better than that. Don't forget guys, like, share, subscribe as always. Oh, I'm loving this fan content. Now it's back at the stadium. Come on, let's get in.